everyone, I'm here today with this week's weekly reading wrap up. I read four books again this week. As I said last week, it seems to be my sort of solid number right now. So I'm really chuffed. I had a pretty decent reading week and I can't wait to tell you about all the books I read. I want to quickly say I'm aware that this is quite a white week this week. It's not deliberate. I passively read very diversely and it just so happens that the last few weeks I have read very diversely. This week I haven't quite so much and it's something I will be looking to improve upon week after week to try and have, when I can, a more conscious decision to read more widely. That said, I am also someone incredibly organised, so I know approximately what I'm going to be reading, at least in terms of review copies and in terms of other reads because of my request video where I have asked for all of my subscribers, if you so wish, to pick one book for me to read. So I'll leave that linked in the cards and also the description down below because I've been really enjoying reading what you guys have been telling me to read basically. But yeah, I've got a good idea of what review books I'm going to be reading. I've got a good idea of what I'm going to be reading in between there because of that video and also because of other videos I've got in the works. So I haven't got a lot of scope for moving stuff around right now, but it is something I want to be keeping an eye on as and when and trying to make a conscious change, especially when we're requesting arcs. I feel like that might be somewhere that I can improve. So yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. That said, the first book I read last week was an arc that I received free from the publishers via NetGalley. That was Little Creeping Things by Chelsea Icazo. I have a full spoiler free review of this book, so I'll leave that linked in the cards and also the description down below in case you want to check that out. For my full thoughts, I will just give a brief overview of you here. This is a YA thriller that follows a girl who has been told from a very young age that she started a fire that led to one of her best friends dying. It was decreed an accident, but all the same, she's always really beat herself up over it. Then she gets bullied for that throughout her life. One of the bullies in particular that she really dislikes and wishes bad things upon goes missing. And yeah, this just goes down a typical YA thriller kind of route. Plenty of typical YA tropes, a bit of romance thrown in, as you would expect. But this was a really fun read for me. It was really gripping. And I think there's something in this author's writing that means that she can really write a good thriller. And... It'll be interesting to see what she comes out with in the future as this is just her debut. So I highly recommend checking this out. I gave it four out of five stars. The second book I read last week wasn't one I was planning on reading, I'm not going to lie. I had an incident which led to me deciding to do a 24-hour readathon out of nowhere with no preparation, without any sleep beforehand. It wasn't the best time I've ever had in my life, I will say that right now. But I have vlogged that for you and that video will be going up a week on Saturday, so keep an eye out for that. But one of the books that I read for that was a comfort read, which was a reread of The Secret Dream World of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. This is a book that I have read countless times. I usually give it four or five stars, depending on my experience at the time. Because I was picking this up looking for a comfort read and that it was everything that I needed at that moment, I gave this five stars because... I thoroughly enjoyed myself. If you've never read this series, I would recommend it if you are someone who can deal with adult contemporary romance. It's one of the best series for that that I have ever exposed myself to. I'm sure there's plenty more out there that are better, but it's something that I've been reading for easily over 10 years at this point probably closer to 15 years, this series. In fact, the first time I ever read one of the books in this series, I was about 18, 17. So yeah, about 15 years I've been reading this series and I just can't get enough of rereading it every once in a while. It's a great time and it was a cozy comfort read for me, so five stars. The third book that I read last week and again was part of that same 24-hour readathon, therefore was the second book in the Shopaholic series. This is Shopaholic Abroad. I've always liked this one a little bit more than the first one. I think it's got a bit more fun to it. You have plenty of laugh out loud moments as well as crying. 
So yeah, this has everything for me and this one tends to always be a five star read for me no matter how many times I reread it. And indeed I gave it five stars this time too. The final book I read last week was one that I listened to on audiobook. This was The Binding by Bridget Collins. This was a viewer request from Kath and we've always had quite similar reading tastes so I was quite interested and intrigued to be able to pick this up especially since it's one that had been on my re radar and was one that I'd been kind of quite anticipating getting to at some point meanwhile she gave it five stars last year and absolutely loved it it's one of her new favorite books of all time so I was like I'm gonna have a great time with this and then I read it <laughs> I feel so bad like the pressure of it being someone else's five star reader me sitting here going I gave this book three stars is a bit like ooh. And I know she won't take events. And I am wondering whether I would have had a different experience with this book, actually, if I'd read it physically rather than listening to the audiobook. I'm a bit iffy with my audiobooks, and sometimes I feel like perhaps an audiobook isn't the best way of consuming a book. And this might be one of those times. Um, the narrator I had no issues with overall. But yeah, basically, this book is one that I'd hyped up in my head quite a bit and didn't live up to the hype for me. I was quite bored occasionally. We follow a character named Emmett and there's quite a bit going on with his life that I don't really know at this point what would be a spoiler and what, what wouldn't so I'll keep this very on the down low because you're probably best going into this book knowing as little as possible. Emmett is sent a letter to join a job which is called Binding. Now in this fantasy historical fiction world Binding books is quite a controversial thing, but also books themselves are really frowned upon. So it's quite an interesting idea. And people can go to a bounder and get their experiences of a specific thing erased from their heads, essentially. So say you've suffered the loss of a family member, you can go to a binder and go, I want to forget this. And they remove that memory from you and bind it into a book. I was practically in love with this idea and I thought it would be amazing, but through audiobook at least, the execution of this just didn't thrill me. I found it incredibly slow, incredibly boring. <laughs> so while this book did nothing wrong and I found the concept amazing, it just didn't capture my attention in the way that I thought it would. I found myself not particularly caring about Emmett. I wasn't really interested in him or his story. I was more just interested in the overall concept. And so, yeah, this was a bit of a disappointment for me overall. I will say, I don't feel like I've necessarily given this book the best justice, but I find that three star reads are the very middle of the road reads for me. Like, they were all right. They did nothing wrong. But I haven't got any overall feelings of them. Like, I'm not like... Oh, I loved this book so much. Oh, oh my God, I hated this book. I've got so much bad stuff to tell you about. It was just meh. So yeah, I will say what I haven't mentioned is that the full way that I would categorise this book would be a historical fantasy romance with LGBTQ plus representation in it. So yeah, if that sounds like your sort of thing, you might have a great time. I think I just wasn't necessarily in the right headspace for a slow listen. I needed something a bit more. Probably needed another thriller in my life. And that's not this book's fault. And it is one where because I was so interested in the concepts and I feel like it might be down to the audiobook. It might not as well. But it might be down to the audiobook that I didn't have a great time. I am going to reread this at some point. Definitely not in any rush but at some point in the future via physical copy or kindle copy to see whether I feel the same a second time around in a different format so yeah that was my experience with this book sadly that's also the only book that I finished this week that was viewer requested I have started another one but then I had to ditch it due to the reason that led to me reading these and also due to me suddenly ended up realising that I've got a lot of books I need to read this week for reviews. So I'm going to have a lot of videos up this week, pretty much one every day actually, because I've got so many review copies that I'm 
kind of mid sorting reviews out for so sorry for essentially filling your subscription box every day this week and beyond but yeah I had a great reading week overall it wasn't like I hated anything that I read and I had a great time overall despite the end result of reading these which was a short reading slump where I had to force myself out and be like no I need to crack on with my reading because the end result of me doing that reading vlog 24 hour readers on reading vlog is that I didn't want to read ever again <laughs> which isn't the best but yeah I will save all my thoughts on that for when that video comes out as I said a week on Saturday you can see that so yeah Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the image of me if you want to see more book views and other bookish content from me. And I will see you soon. Bye bye.